Hey guys, it is Doug and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick look at a couple of the symptoms that you might be able to see on your common rail dodge of when your injectors are starting to fail. Now a little background, I know this truck real well, I used to own it. So I, ha I sold it, gosh, probably five, six years ago. Lots of miles have gone on her. She's been around the country and I'm doing some work on her again. And as I was getting her to deliver, getting ready to deliver her back, uh, I was noticing a check engine code that led me just to do a free rev. Um, and I said, oh man, these injectors are starting to die. I have, the, I have the benefit on this truck of knowing what the truck sounded like when it had brand new fresh injectors and how those have degraded over time. This has been run exclusive, exclusively with the 5 micron Baldwin filter that really helps increase longevity. So we did get a pretty long life out of these. But if you start seeing this, you might want to just know, hey, I could be running in the territory of hurting my motor. Now, with that said, there are lots of other things that are clues. There are return tests that you can do. Nothing is super conclusive on these. So please just take this as one more tool that if you see it, maybe you've picked up a truck and you're wondering how bad the injectors are. Maybe you've had the truck and you're starting to get suspicious because it's been a while. Uh, maybe you're test driving a truck and you're just like, hmm, I wonder where they're at. There's no blow by yet, but where are they? So without any further ado, um, we're just gonna start her up. Starts crisp and idles. If you look over there, you'll see there's not any haze. We're not hazing out. It's not uh, any one of those things that you would generally think of with a bad injector. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is this right here. I'm just gonna rev it up to about 2,500 RPMs and I'm gonna be quiet and I want you guys to listen. Okay, I let off the pedal at or just just slightly before 2,500 RPMs. Let off. Gonna do it again. Let off. Gonna do it one more time. Let off. Now I'm trying to make that let off to be as correct, as precise as possible, but I am a little delayed there. So what you're seeing is a little slower, my voice is even a little slower than when I'm letting off and off. Okay, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna beat on this thing too hard because I don't wanna compromise. This motor is still pristine. Okay, so there's one. We're gonna do another one. So I'm gonna zoom out right here. Um, we're on a controlled closed course. You guys ready for this? And gas applied. Oh, hold on, it's wet out here. I'll do you the favor of killing the seat belt. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in four wheel drive so that I've got some traction. And I'm off. It's still pulling, okay? I don't know if you can see that real well. I'm gonna do it again. I'm on the gas, I'm off of the gas, and it's still pulling, I'm on the brakes. So what I wanted to show with that right there, I'm gonna go backwards some. Um, what I wanted to show right there for you guys, you can feel it when you're driving this thing really clearly, okay? You can feel that it's still trying to accelerate the truck as you, after you're off of the gas and clear onto the brake. So I'm gonna do it one more time here. I'm gonna go back a little bit further. Okay, so we're gonna do this one more time and I'm gonna let it go for just a little bit. So I'm on the gas, on the gas, accelerating, 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 off the gas, on the brake. That one is actually the best test 
that we've done that it was the most responsive there in terms of coming off of that power. Um, but the fuel is not shutting off crisply. The injectors are starting to dribble and if we were able to show the tailpipe, you would notice that even with the Edge Programmer on 5, it was putting a lot more soot out than what it should. So let's take another thing here. So I, I'm at idle right now. I'm going to come into park and you can see that the EGTs are coming down, but we're still lingering. Um, we have lots of other motors there and it's, it's especially noticeable when this thing is a little bit more heat soaked because we've been out on the road. Um, you can still, that all that time since I, I popped it into park, we're not even to 350 degrees. This is a stock turbo stock exa exhaust manifold with the turbo EGT probe um, placed in the third basically in the middle of the manifold so this isn't anything crazy it shouldn't be in a particularly hot location and what you're seeing is is that it's it's 70 degrees outside and it's taking a really long time for this thing to come down in EGTs we don't have a thick manifold there's nothing there's no wrapping on this thing um, and it would be even more pronounced if we did more than just a little short relatively cool jaunt there. Um, I was sitting for roughly two minutes in park after driving it roughly five miles and it still hadn't come below 375. So I hope this is helpful. We've got two different things. We have the the bucking and sputtering and popping as it's coming down off of a free rev. We have it continuing to pull when you back off of the accelerator um, from just normal driving, probably better said normal driving but with moderate throttle input, and we have abnormally long cool down times from the EGTs. Um, and I didn't point it out, EGT number right over there. These common rails can be quite scary. Uh, and difficult to diagnose if you're just getting into them. Uh, if you have some questions, be happy to help out as best as we can. There's no surefire message. You can either take it, you can take it to somebody and get a return test done, um, but it's kind of pointless because pretty much all of these common rail injectors fail. Uh, we have a stack of 18 of them sitting in the shop right now just from our personal stuff so please do not take if you have a, a good common rail with no blow by please take care of it pay attention to the symptoms and and what your motor is telling you thank you for watching drop a comment if you have questions that you feel like we might be able to help you out with and have a great one and we will see you later Hey guys, an add-on, uh, this is a little bonus section. So this is a couple days later. Um, this is a set of 13% over industrial injection remands. Um, and I want to show you the difference. Lifting. Okay. Lifting. Lifting. So you see that, like, it's not like a diesel is a race motor here, but as soon as I lift off the gas, she's already coming back down. So, up and back down. Up and back down. So, I just wanted to add that on there so that you could see this is the exact same truck. All we did, we did nothing else but swap injectors since the last time, that last video clip. already coming back down so up and back down up and back down
he's already coming back down. So, up and back down. Up and back down. All right, hope this is helpful and best of luck to you guys. Take care.